is Jimmy Flint Reynolds. And today, Cayman and me, who's Cayman Reynolds and Jimmy Reynolds, well, even though my name's Jimmy Flint Reynolds, now we're beekeeping. And, and I have a I have my sister is in the house, but and her name's Kathleen, but she doesn't want to come out and she doesn't really beekeep like me. And I really like beekeeping, so I Kim. Now we going to do beekeeping. Which hive? Which hive? Which hive? Oh, I guess we're going to start with the best. Oh, I like the gray hive. You want to get the gray one? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. So, you get that side. I'll get this side. Alright, now pry down. Yeah, there you go. Now we smoke the bees. Now we're going to go down to this one. Yeah. We're going to go down to the one, which is Polish. Yeah, there you go. Smoke the beans. I'll do this part, because it's pretty hot. Especially... Oh, no. Tell people what's happening. From the wax. Just watch your finger and make sure you don't pinch any bees. That's what happens when you use two boxes from different companies and their measurements aren't exactly the same. Yep. So now we gotta pry these down one at a time. What a bother. Oh, that's why I could do one. There you go. I saw a beetle! Ah, small hive beetle. We'll crunch him later. Yeah. Now, this is kind of hard. There. Lots of work. Oh wow, that feels pretty good though. The beetle was on this high. All right, we'll check him out. Well, I just put this box on the other day. This is kind of a smallish sized hive, but let's check this top box and see if they've made any honey. Yeah. Now the other side. Whoa, that's a lot of bees. All right, so there you go. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's a lot of honey, but on the other side, not so much. Let's go for a middle frame. They haven't hardly started working on that one. Let's go to this one. See how I'm using this tool? Yeah, there you go. I almost touched a bee. Yeah, gotta watch those bees. Oh, what do you think of that one? Whoa, I love it. Oh, there's baby bees. Oh. Baby Actually, this whole entire thing is honey. You see this up here? Oh. That's where they're capping it. Whenever they cap it, that lets us know it's done. It's pretty handy. Yeah. Hmm. That one, they haven't finished yet. And that one, and that one, and that one. Yep, these bees are up here busy working on it. Yep. We're kind of interrupting them, so let's put that back. Yeah. Ooh. Is that open? Well, maybe we should go down to the other boxes and see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this stuff fell in already. This is coming from the hickory tree above us. 
Let's get. You see? Yeah, it's, well, that bee's trying to clean it up. It's like, what is this doing in our house? So this right here is a box that doesn't have much combs yet, but they're starting to draw new ones out. Brand yeah. new wax. Ooh, yeah. and they're putting honey in it too. I like that. Yeah, me too. Whole lot better than last year. Jimmy's a really good scraper. Yeah, I love scraping. All right, should we go down and see the baby bees and stuff? Yeah. All right, well, let's put that one down. Now, there one must, thing we... There must be... Yeah, there's this teeny fit. Why we have this right here is to keep the baby bees from going up to the big bees. So you, that's why we have it. The excluder? Yeah. Yeah, the excluder, that keeps that queen from getting up here. And getting oh. all the babies and the honey. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I'll put this over here. Yep, because only the regular bees can fit through this. The drones that are bigger and the queen, she can't fit. And that means she can't come up here and lay eggs and stuff. And the baby bees can. This hive has a lot of wax. Oh yeah, lots of wax. Oh, and that's this flame. Oh yeah. Doing good. Don't get forget that one right there. Wow, the bees are going to like all that clean space. And they're going like the wax is all, it's going to be away. But what, hap they, but what happens when if we come back next time and they did it again? Then we'll have to scrape it again. That makes sense. Alright, how about we go down and check now and see what's going on down here. All right, one of the tricks I like to do is, is go underneath. Oh. All right, ready? And we pick up the handle and then tip. Oh, or tip. Now we're going to look underneath and see if they're trying to raise. Orange problem. See, look what we have here. Oh. These are queen cells. They're trying to make queens. And here's another one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Yes. Oh, and boy, that's good. Yeah. For drones. Yeah, those are drones. Good but job. The more drones, the more we can hold them. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy loves to hold drones and mess with them and whatnot. But when they have queens like this on the bottom this time of the year, that means they're going, some of the bees are going to leave the hive. Oh. If we don't keep them from doing that. So what we're going to do is get rid of those cells. And then when we want to later, we will split them and make more bees. But right now they need to focus on making honey. I wish I could take... I wish you could find a drone that I could put one of the drones in one of the green sails. Oh boy, what that would be a mess. There's a drone right here. Oh, now I can put it in the queen sail. Just be yeah. gentle with him. Yeah. Don't pinch him too hard, poor guy. Yeah, I can, I can pinch him good enough. There you go. Do I just... Go in. He won't go in there. Why? Alright, let's see if he'll do it. Oh, he can't fit! And he's too big! <laughs> That's why you are like that. Now he's flying away. 
All right, why don't you just tell everybody thanks for watching the video and we get out of here. Thanks for watching the video and bye.